horrors. Today we'll be discussing the indie slasher film A Hundred Tears. The story starts with two tabloid writers who just decide out of the blue to try and solve slash investigate the local psychopathic murderer, the Teardrop Killer. So then jump cut to a halfway house. What the hell is that guy doing? Oh, thank God. Where a chubby clown is strolling around with a comically large cleaver. And a fight choreographed by someone's 13 year old nephew breaks out. Good God, this punch fest lasts a long time. the movie that the creeper on the couch was watching with the, the blood on the wall. So Rapo the Clown starts slaughtering all the people at the halfway house and coincidentally every victim happens to be full of various jellies and jams. All of this brings us to why the film is called A Hundred Tears. Because by the end of the film, Gertie the Clown will have his revenge on 100 victims. Since then, 168 cases have been related to the teardrop killings. Are you serious? Are you serious? Holy f Kevin, are you serious? You f***ed up your own math. The title of this movie is screwed up by its own stupid reasoning. I don't know if I can continue reviewing this. I mean, if the movie's not going to take it seriously, I, why should I? Is this what you do late at night when I'm sleeping? Yeah, that's a masturbate. Classy. So we're introduced to this blonde jailbait wannabe for some reason. And then that happens. So the tabloid writers begin searching for their killer in the dignified backwoods of Florida's Carney underbelly. And I couldn't give less of a crap about Fat Mulder or Dyke Scully if I tried. They find a lead, but literally have to chase it down. Am I supposed to take this seriously? Because I couldn't even if you paid me to. Alright. up with our killer clown and it is revealed that she's actually his long lost daughter and when met with this news she completely accepts it and uh, joins on board because I guess that's just how mental illness works haven't we seen this all before didn't Rob Zombie give us the psycho clown with the hot blonde first and didn't he do it better look here's the issue with the movie it's balls the story is completely messed up the acting is horrible, with the exception of young Gertie. The ending is idiotic and tacked on. The credit sequence is stupid. They reuse the same song three times in the film. Yes, movie! When Your Evil's a really cool song. You know exactly what me and every Hot Topic goth girl wants to hear. whoop de doo You want to see the only genuinely creepy scene in the movie? Well, here you go! Hope you liked it, because it happens ten minutes in the movie, and that's all you get. The only somewhat positive thing to mention is that the overuse of gore and blood in this film could be used as a teaching tool for young filmmakers trying to figure out how to put blood on film. I'm Zach Romero. Thank you for watching Horrible Horrors. This movie sucked! This child